Sometimes I think a developer is actually watching my videos and just pushes a button that makes rare drop increase by like 50 billion percent for my account alone. And the reason I say this is because, well, I actually got all of my Arga armors. And it just seems like such a coincidence that I got all of my armors after I ranted about it and complained about it and boom, it suddenly just appears. It, it's really, really sus. But before we jump into the rest of the video, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. Very first thing I want to share with everyone is look how crazy the weather is outside right now. It's like storming, like actually crazy storming really hard outside right now. It's uh, we're all gonna die. Oh, and look at that. We transition back to in-game and it's storming in-game as well. It's clearly a bad omen. But of course, today's video is gonna be talking about the Octo Armor Arga. You can call me spoon-fed. I'm gonna admit, I was spoon-fed. Like, I was not expecting to get these armors. I was watching Kaistara farming the limited time quest. And let me see, Arc Striker Badges, random challenge. We can actually see the record over here, I believe. And you can see right here, Kaistara, two minutes and 10 seconds. His group ran with four gunners and they were ripping through everything so incredibly fast and efficient. You can see my fastest time is only five minutes and 30 seconds. It's like double their time, a little bit more than double their time actually. And they were just flying through it back to back to back to back. I think they farmed for like four hours straight. So if each run took two minutes, they did 120 runs with four people and they got nothing. They got absolutely nada. But they did get a very good time, you know, two minutes and 10 seconds is one heck of a very, very fast time. I believe they are competing against the JP players. Um, the JP leaderboard is actually slower than them right now at the time of this recording. So good job, Kaistara, as well as friends. You guys are doing an amazing job. Actually watching you guys do your run was freaking mind blowing. I had no idea you could do like half of the things you guys did. Um, hopefully Kaistara does upload a video about this. Um, they're probably going to upload it after the whole arch record things ends since they are trying to compete and try to be world first or number one in the world so um yeah when they do upload that video i'll definitely let you guys know about it so that you can see the actual run because it is ballistic it is so crazy and so optimized to the point that i'm just sitting there going like how did they figure this out it's amazing but with all of that said and done since the rare chart rate is still abysmal they didn't get a single arga armor none of them after 120 runs which is a uh, very very unfortunate actually and um, yeah, I just got spoon fed. That's mainly the reason I'm making this video is just showcasing that I'm spoon fed and there's probably a developer at Sega that's like, oh man, I watch Caro's videos. I'm gonna troll him now and I'm gonna push that little button. I don't actually know if there's a button or not, but you know, that they, they, they gave me these basically. It felt, at least it feels like it. But nevertheless, there is one piece of armor over here that I need to augment properly because as you guys said in the comment section below on like my first rant video, like it just didn't make sense to want these Argo armors so badly to only half ass it and use like LC capsules on it. I really should be going with like the true endgame capsules in order to give this justice, you know, to make it like worthwhile. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing with the last piece of Octo armor over here. So you can see over here, these two pieces are already fully maxed out. They give 105 HP, 26 photon power, as well as 28.7% melee, as well as range potency. So if we look at my total potency right now in character information, you can see that I have a total of 158.6% melee potency, 60.9% damage adjustment. I got 1,056 HP as well as 207 photon power. But uh, we are going to change that now, and we're going to be replacing all of our LC capsules over here with regular capsules so that we actually hit min-max. We're also going to be replacing placing the might for with the spirit or maybe a guard I don't really know yet so the method that I'm gonna be using is of course the gambling method so we're gonna go to add augments over here we're gonna find our piece over here with the gladius soul and we're simply just gonna put in one gladius soul and then we're gonna go confirm we're gonna remove the LC gladius soul so let's just remove these things we're gonna put XD parfait first 
and then Gladius Soul, and then all of the LC cap. Oh, well, we, we could put Half Finale first, then the LC capsules, and then Might 4. And there is a 7% chance for the Gladius Soul to work. But what we're going to do right here is we're going to put a 20% booster as well as the end augment item protection. So we have a 27% chance of it sticking. But if it does fail, we do uh, just lose the augment item protection. And we still keep our Gladius Soul capsule and we are going to gamble. Let's see how spoon fed I am. And uh, no, that didn't work, unfortunately. Well, we can just try that again because I have a lot of protections. So uh, I am more than happy to just keep gambling. So here we go again. Take two. And wha-bam, nope. And just to show you guys how many end augment item protections I have, I do have 19 of them. So uh, yeah, we have plenty of time or plenty of attempts over here. So hopefully it sticks. You know, if I fail 19 times, well, <laughs> I guess we're, I guess I know where all my good luck went, you know? All right, let's try this one more time. And wha-bam, nope, we gotta do it again. Here we go, one more time. Oh dear God, we're failing so many. You know, we'll do the Gigas Mass Day first. Maybe the Gigas Mass Day will stick. We gotta mix things up occasionally. 27% Gigas Mass Day. Nope. All right, Gladius Soul again. And nope. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, okay. We are failing a lot. We are failing a lot, a lot. This is, this is a little bit worrying now. I really hope that I do get it to stick before I run out of augment item protections. That would be very unfortunate if I ran out of these and none of them stuck. There we go. Gigas Mass Day complete. All right. So one down, two more to go. Next is the Gladius Soul. All right, Gladius Soul. It's your turn, please. Now we just need the Gladius Soul to stick. Let's put our 20% booster and augment item protection. And yeah, let's go yeah, yeet. Nope. We gotta try that again. 20% booster and augment item protection. Yeah, yeet. And no, wow, these Gladius Souls, they, they just don't want to stick. They just don't want to stick. Come on, man. 27% success. Oh my goodness. How, how many more item protections do I have? I have 11 left. I have 11 left. Oh no. Please, please, please. Uh, Gladius Soul. Okay. 20% booster. Item Augment. I'm wasting so many Star Gems from this, but I need to do it, right? I need to do you guys justice. I got spoon fed these armors, so I have to, at the very least, but at min max, right? We gotta go for the true min max, yeah? Come on! No! What is going on? Why, why are you doing this to me, Sega? You gave me the armors, and then now you won't let me finish the augments? Wabam! Oh no, oh no. We are, we are getting shafted pretty hard over here. 27% stick! Oof. Finally, all right. So that is almost all done. We have High Ale Domina left. Let's see how many protections. We have seven more, but we ha we do have four High Ale Dominas, and um, we could use all four in order to just increase our chances. Um, increase that would give us like a forty eight percent chance actually if we used all four. And since I did farm for all of these, it doesn't sting as bad if I'm just going to use all four. And it actually gives me a, a little bit of time to reorganize things over here. So we can do the XD Parfait, we do Gladius Soul, the High Ale Domina, Gigas Maste, Hal Finale, and then Might 4. Well, we're, we'll replace the Might 4 later down the line. So we're going to do that. Um, firm. Use a 20% booster, so we have 48% chance. And then uh, and augment item protection and let's try that and voila perfect alrighty so with all of that complete we are now at a hundred and sixty point five percent potency now some of you guys may be like Carol why aren't you at a hundred and sixty three or hundred and sixty four percent potency and the main reason for that is because of my weapon you can see my weapon are uh, you know they're still using LC capsules over here and um, it's not the best but to be perfectly honest, I'm not planning to invest that much more into this weapon unless I'm able to get a higher fixa because the higher fixa is going to give me a lot more value. Um, so I'm just going to be happy with my current gear right here, 
which uh, you know it's like 105 hp 26 photon power as well as 28.7 percent potency there's also 28.7 percent potency but there's five less photon power because i don't have the uh triple bull the spirit triple bull over here i'm just using a might four at the moment but i will switch that out i might switch it out for guard triple bull because with my current build i already have 207 photon power i feel like getting three percent damage resistance would give me a lot more value than just getting five more photon power so i think guard might be the play for me for the last piece of armor um but let us just take a food buff and see what our overall stats becomes with the food buff because this is unbuffed unbuffed we have 1056 hp as well as 207 photon power it's quite a big deal and then when we take our retem crisp meat over here or crisp uh buff over here you can see we gain all of these buffs and now you can see that my hp has increased dramatically to 1109 we have 217 photon power and um, you know the weapon potency hasn't increased of course it's still the same at 160.5 but um this is pretty much end game guys i have finally hit end game i am done i won't need to upgrade my armors for another six months most likely obviously i'm gonna enhance all of these to uh, plus 70 because why the heck not i'm literally sitting on like pages and pages of golden prim armor 2 like i've got so many of these golden prim armor 2s i might as well use them in order to fully max out my armors to all plus 70 and get that extra defense because uh you know i definitely need that extra defense in order to let me play a little bit more sloppy have a little bit more buffer now for those who are wondering why i'm using the xd death parfait as my uh xd capsule is simply because i don't think we're going to be sticking with the nine star rarity weapon for a very long time i'm thinking probably by december we are most likely going to get a 10 star rarity weapon or something along those lines and i don't think it's going to give us critical hit rate plus 100 percent i'm pretty sure it's going to revert back to our regular weapons where there's damage adjustment of 50 percent to 100 percent that's why for the armors themselves over here since i want to kind of sort of future proof myself that's why i put the xd death parfaits as well as all the other end game capsules over here which gives me quite a bit of floor potency as you can see right here 60.9 percent and here we go ladies and gentlemen i have finished enhancing all of my armors to plus 70 so now when we look at my battle power it is 3912 simply because i was able to get all my armors from enhancement 61 to enhancement 70 it does give me quite a bit more defense as well as you can see over here it's 114 defense now which is a pretty big deal you know that is quite a bit of damage reduction well i mean it's not damage resistance but it's just pure armor or pure defense which is definitely pretty nice so um yeah i'm pretty dang happy with my overall stats over here overall gear but at the end of the day is it worth getting the octo armor arga not really i do not recommend this for the average player unless you're incredibly lucky and you get it from a drop or if you're just like me and you're just hellbent with no logical reason and you just really want this armor then sure this armor is slightly better for certain scenarios simply because it does give you that extra six photon power as well as that extra 20 hp which is pretty nice especially in my case since it allows me to play a lot more sloppy However, for the average player, you know, you could just stick with the regular Octo Armor and it's actually going to give you 28.7% all potency, which is actually better because then you can really just stick with one armor and uh, it covers all your bases. Uh, versus in this case, since I only play Braver or just melee classes in general, um, this is why I wanted the Octo Armor Arga because it covers melee, gives that extra HP, extra PP, and also covers range in case I do want to play Slayer. But that's pretty much it. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.